Hey guys, welcome back. This is Frank, and welcome to our IGCSC COSI physics revision videos. Our current unit is P4 light in the EM spectrum. So today, I'd like to talk a little bit about converging lenses, or as you might have known it, convex lenses. And the reason why it's called converging lenses, well, obviously because it converges the light. So basically, what it means is that it brings uh, parallel rays of light beams together. So uh, let's start off with why the converging lenses converge. So basically what's gonna happen is, let me do this over here, basically what's gonna happen is, if you have a converging lens, it's a, a converging lens that looks something like this, uh, the light ray is gonna pass through, let's say it's just like that, and then if you draw the normal, it's gonna look something like from over here. So as we know from Tagaga, towards air glass, the light ray is going to bend towards the normal, so it's going to, uh, I don't know if you can show it very apparently here, uh, you can do something like that, towards the normal, and then when it exits, when it exits, uh, the lens is going to bend away from the normal, so it's going to do something like that. So that's why, uh, as you can see, before it was kind of going straight from he from uh, left to right, so uh, it's kind of parallel to the to to the paper here. But then it kind of went down. So the same thing is gonna happen if you shoot it from the bottom of the con converging lens. Uh, basically, what's gonna happen is that it's do it's gonna do the same thing. It's gonna come up, and then it's gonna come up. So eventually, these two rays would meet somewhere over here. And that brings us to our next topic about focus. So what exactly is a focus? The definition of a focus or a principal focus is where parallel rays meet. So before we go, go into principal focus, uh, we first need to know the principal axis of the lens. So the principal axis is basically just this uh, horizontal line here. So, um, you know, it's 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 parallel, I guess you can say it's kind of parallel to the uh, this this axis, the lens axis, uh, you know, which is the middle of the lens. And uh, if you put like a lens uh, directly uh, perpendicular to the table, uh, the table is gonna be the uh, principal axis. So let me just quickly note it down here. That's the principal axis, or maybe I can note it down in another color. Uh, this is the principal axis principal axis, and this is, as I've said, the lens axis, so the dotted line over here. All right, so now uh, going back to principal focus, what exactly is principal focus? Well, let's say we have two rays of light uh, that are parallel to the principal axis and you shoot it directly onto the converging lens. And also, uh, just to men quickly mention, for efficiency reasons, we just uh, you know the conventions tend to be just draw the uh, the rays kind of uh, going down, going up from the middle of the lens or the lens axis. So you know you don't have to draw like what I did, like you know it goes down and then it goes that more down. Uh, nope. You, all you have to do is just uh, you know shoot it towards the middle and then you change the direction. So yeah, that's just a faster way of drawing. And uh, you do that. And uh, as you can see, these two rays uh, eventually come together to a point on the principal axis. So, uh, well, because they're parallel to the principal axis, they're gonna uh, go uh, converge on the principal axis as well. So this point, where these two uh, rays converges, is called the principal, the principal focus, the principal focus. So uh, we can define it as where parallel rays meet. Oops, I think I used the wrong color. It's this one, where parallel, parallel rays meet. All right, so that's the principal focus. And we, another thing we need to know is called the focal length. So the focal length is a very easy concept. It's just this distance. So here and uh, get, out, get out the ruler uh, like that and then put it over 
here. If I draw a perpendicular line through the principal focus, it's basically the distance between the lens axis and the principal focus. So this this distance right over here is what we call a focal length, the focal length of um, I can't spell the focal length of the converging lens. So uh, let me just write down the definition here. The distance of the center of the length and the principal principal focus. I'm writing these two definitions down because uh, it is in the syllabus, so you need to use uh, the terms principal focus and focal length. So yeah, where mar parallel rays meet is where the principal focus is, and the distance of the center of the length and the principal focus is the focal length. So this is the center of the length. I'm just going to mark it out here. I'm not going to label it because it's very apparent, but uh, you know we're possibly going to use that later. Uh, especially when we're doing our uh, image forming later. Anyway, so these are some key terms we need to know. Principal focus, principal axis, focal length, and lens axis. Moving on, uh, we know that a converging lens, a, a lens uh, converges the light. So um, you know, need to describe what it does to the uh, beam of light. So if you have two parallel beams of light, it's going to converge uh, at the principal uh, focus. So now that we know uh, our key terms, there are some uh, general rules I would like to state before uh, we start. So uh, basically, what you need to know is, uh, let's say if a light ray passes through the center of the lens, so if I just move it here, let's say a ray is passing from here to here, okay? So it can be passing from any direction, like it can be passing from like a random, uh, an arbitrary angle. So it can be like passing from here or here or here, like, you know, maybe it, it came in like that. I don't know. But uh, what if like a, a beam of light comes straight through the center of the lens? What is it going to do? Well, uh, if you do some, you know, basic reasoning in a very ideal situation, you will find out that it does absolutely nothing. So um, for a light beam that is shooting directly to the center of the converging lens, it just goes out in the same direction as it goes in. So for this ray, it's gonna do the exact same thing, it just co goes out like that. So, you know, uh, it's, it's, let me label this first. All right, so it's not gonna change the direction. Uh, it's not gonna do that, it's not gonna converge. It's just gonna go straight through uh, the, the, the the center of the lens. It's just going to continue its path. So I'm just adding this because uh, we need to know this if we are, uh, you know, doing forming image uh, because that's going to be useful to determine where the image is. So I'm just going to leave it up there. Although you can maybe do a more tidier graph than I did. But anyway, moving on, let's go on to the next subtopic, which is uh, drawing ray diagrams to illustrate the formation of a real image by a single lens. Um, that might sound frightening, but I have an extra ray diagram, oh, well, an extra empty lens uh, over here. So I'm just going to move it up. Uh, move it up. Yeah, I think that's good enough. And. All right, so basically uh, what we have is, let's say we have an object that is emitting light, right? So let's say this is an, oops, sorry. Let's say this is an object that is emitting light. Uh, maybe it's like a light bulb or like a ray. I don't think it's gonna be a ray box though. Uh, if you have a ray box with a lot of slit, like, you know, those with a big bulb on it, and, and I think that's fine. Uh, but, you know, usually we just use a filament lamp and let's say we have an object emitting light. Actually, I might draw the object smaller so it's easier to see, all right? And in physics, uh, we tend to use like this kind of arrow thing to uh, represent uh, 
an an object uh, in a ray diagram because well you know if it's upside down you can easily tell if it's upside down and if it's the right side up you can easily tell if it's the right side up because there's an arrow pointing so yeah all right so how do we do this how do we how do we determine where the image is going to be well we already know it's going to be a real image because they told us so so uh let's just do this we know that the top of this object is going to emit some light all right it's going to emit light in every direction so it's gonna be like that but for simplicity for simplicity uh we, we're just gonna focus on two beams of two special beams actually of rays that is uh emitting from this uh this point so let's just clear out like this all right let's first draw a ray that does this that is parallel to the principal axis of the length so it's gonna look something like that all right and the second ray we're gonna draw is going to pass through the center of the lens okay so as you might recall we know that uh, you know par rays parallel to the principal axis is going to uh, converge uh, on the principal focus so where the ray meets the principal axis is going to be the principal focus so um, we also know that a ray that is passing through the center of a lens does not change direction so we can immediately draw it out like this we know that's going over there all right and we know that this ray is going to uh, converge on the principal focus so let's for the simplicity reasons let's just suppose that the principal focus is somewhere over here all right so it's gonna look something like this oh actually no you know what maybe even closer maybe somewhere over here all right so it's uh going to look like this all right so as you can see our uh two light beams came out from the same uh point and uh you know we know the image is gonna be formed where they uh, end up in the same point. So it's going to look something like uh, this. So we know that this point is going to be here uh, when you, you know, when you pass it, uh, when you see it through like a, a converging lens. So, uh, yeah, but we also know that this is going to be the top of the image. So we know that the arrow head is going to be here. And we also know that because the, the base of this object is on the uh, principal axis here. So we know that the base is just going to stay on the principal axis. Like if there's a uh, light emitting here, it's going to pass directly through uh, the the uh, the principal axis. And it's just going to end up over here. And we also know the object is straight. So it's not going to be like, look like that or like that. But it's going to be exactly over here. All right. So we can draw it. We know arrowhead is here, so we draw arrowhead here, and then we point it up. Maybe we can do a little better job than that. We can we can do this. Uh, yeah. All right. So that's going to be uh where our image is going to form, and we can already kind of see. Uh oh, let me just label this real quick. This is uh principal focus. So as we can see, uh you know we can already see kind of uh how uh this is. Uh, this image is upside down because, uh, as I've said, we drew the arrowhead, and we also see that this is, uh, you know, diminished. So by diminished, we basically mean that it's smaller than the original. And the reason why that is will be discussed in the next video. But uh, in this video, I just want to keep things simple. So it's just uh, how a real image is formed, and we know it's a real image because we can project it on the screen in the experiment. So wrapping up. Uh, oh, before we wrap up, actually, uh, I would like to talk about one more thing. So this is extension. You don't need to know this, but uh, I think it's just fun. About concave lenses. So, or, uh, as you might have heard it, diverging lenses. Or concave lenses. Uh, I don't know why it's not in the curriculum, because it's fun. But uh, anyway, a concave lens looks something like this right uh it's like the exact opposite of a uh, uh, a convex lens so convex lens looks something like this like uh fat in the middle and slim uh on top on both ends but concave lens is like slim in the middle and fat on both ends so it looks 
kind of funny. But what it does, as the name suggests, it diverges the rays. So let's say if we have a concave lens over here, and then you pass two rays, two parallel rays. This are bad parallel rays. I'm just gonna use a ruler. If you pass two parallel rays, and you pass another one here, it's gonna diverge. And by diverge, it means oh, do you cancel this? And by diverge, it means that it's gonna go away. So basically, it's gonna pass through the middle of this, and then goes away. And for this one, it's gonna pass through the middle here. Uh, it's gonna pass through the middle here, and go away. Okay, so maybe 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 a little less, maybe more like that. Okay. So yeah, basically what it's gonna do is it's gonna diverge the lenses. So instead of bringing the lenses together, it kind of separates them, and uh, I mean bringing the rays. Sorry. So diverging lenses also has like uh, what uh, 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 a a con a convex lens has. So it has like a, a principal axis and lens axis and a focus point. Actually, the focus of this is going to be like the. Uh, if you extend this line here and extend this line here, there's also actually a focus here. But anyway, uh, just a fun fact that you, you know that this exists and concave lenses are for uh, actually for nearsighted people. So, uh, you know, if you have a glass that is nearsighted, uh, if you are nearsighted and you have glasses, uh, th these glasses are very likely going to be concave lenses. And if you are farsighted, however, it's going to be convex lenses. But we'll talk more about the use of these uh, later on. So yeah, to wrap up today, we learned about uh, the key terms of converging lenses, principal focus, principal axis, focal length, and lens axis. Uh, we, saw, we also talked about a drawing a ray diagram that uh, illustrates uh, the formation of a real image by a single lens. And we also talk a little bit about diverging lenses, although it is not on the curriculum. So yeah, I hope it helps and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.